Yo, what is up everyone? How's it going? And welcome back to Get Jacked here in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, we're on the center map and check it out. Look at we're in an awesome sweet cave with like mushrooms growing on the ceiling and all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, I wanted to bring you out here because I was just kind of out and about getting. We just want to tape up this guy. It's really important. Look at oh oh gosh, this is a really long line. As you can see, I've got us a little dung beetle here. Now he's only level four, but you know it's optimal. All we need is a little guy who's gonna, you know, make fertilizer for us. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I was just grabbing this guy out of the cave, making sure the grappling hook did work, did indeed work on these guys, because it's nice, you can actually get your tear on. Here, I'll show you the entrance, right here. Uh, we'll kind of head out that way, but that's, it's just a tiny little entrance. Uh, where we're located is right here, but basically we want to get going on some farming. Now we've got our basic base going, we tamed up our pterodon and all that kind of stuff. Now what we have to do is get our, you know, basic crops going. We need, we need those for kibble and all that kind of stuff. So, key number one is, oh no, th don't attack him or, or me, um, is the dung beetle, of course, because... I, after playing so much Ark, you get sick of using those fertilizer bins. It's just so much to keep up with after a while, you know, getting all your crops going. So a dung beetle is just the way to go. We, we just get tons of fertilizer that way, and it's not a problem. So as you can see, look, at there's another entrance right there, and this is just a super huge cave. We'll kind of fl fly through it a little bit. We can't really take on to... Oh. Oh, what? Hmm. That's a really good drop. Maybe we should grab that. No, I can't. We can't. We can't risk losing this uh, little guy off. I'd have to use a grappling hook to do that. And actually, you know, just starting out, grappling hooks are pretty expensive. So I don't want to don't want to do too much of that. So let's get our way through. Let's see here on the map where we are now. Oh, it's getting a little dark. See, as you can see, we could probably head through this whole whole landmass. It's oh no. <laughs> as I say that, we come to a massive entrance. Slash exit. Oh, we've got a T-Rex out here. Oh, that, sorry, that kind of scared me for a second. Um, but that's cool. That we might be able to get one of those. But anyway, uh, we got to get going on some farming and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're gonna get started on. Uh, and we're gonna get this guy home, tame him up, and we'll be right back. We're over there. All right. So here we are. I've lugged this sucker all the way back to base. Oh crap. I shouldn't run up on him that quickly. Oh, uh, he'll get really mad. But you do not actually need bug spray for these guys. So we're gonna. Oh, I already got one in there, so that one's not gonna help at all, but we don't need bug spray So we just have to crouch up to this guy and kind of feed him like this. Don't go new. Oh, if you aggro on that dilo, do not do that No, okay. He's just kind of Are they be are they're already friends. We don't even have to tame this guy Okay, can you not do this right now? Okay, so <laughs> See <laughs> all right anyway, we will feed him eventually per that's it? One medium? Okay, perfect. Alright, so that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I guess it was only level 4. And we're going to name it Sapphire because, I mean, these things just look like a sweet little gem. Uh, but anyway, we got to... Does it start on Wandering? Or is that just being weird for me? Yeah, it's just being weird. As always. Okay, so let's get our poop... All of our poop going on in there because we need her to make us some oil. Or her or him. It's a It's a N.A. It's a not available gender, so <laughs> yeah. Sad. I wish you could breed them and actually. Oh, he's. Oh, she's. Oh, that's why she's following me. We'll stop that. It's only level five, so we need to be careful. Now, I do not think that it will wander off into the water, but uh, I will let you know if that happens because that would be really unfortunate. But anyway, we have to get into our farming because we need, like I said, to get kibble now. In the last episode, this is pretty much what we had. This is this was our base, and this was what we got. We went out to that cave and got all that kind of stuff, but this is the new addition. This is way, where we're going to be adding our farm. So anyway, this is going to be the compost bin room. It's going to be small and probably relatively unused because we've got a dung beetle, so there's really no point in that. So I'm going to get water reservoirs going because I'm going to show you kind of how those work. I think we'll be all right. I, I don't think that'll block us from water. I mean, I really hope not, but I mean, if it does, I can always move it out to here as well. So the plants are going to go around here. So why don't we get our stuff going? So this is the, obviously the building that we had going on before Susie's just hanging out. Oh, we got an egg over here and we need to pick up this because we need to start collecting those and whatnot. So we've just got, I got egg storage going on in there because we don't have a refrigerator and all that kind of stuff yet. We will be getting into that 
soon, anyway. But in the last kind of video, I wanted to kind of show you this uh, blacksmith table and all that kind of stuff, but it it isn't working for me. It's just not... I can't make the plaster, so we can't... Let me see here. I can't make the plaster for all that kind of stuff because... Where is that thing? Crafting. Bl uh, Mason's Forge. It's, it's not placing. Well, it's placing. It's right here, actually. You see it? See how, how well it's working right now? Look at, if I go forward, it's right there. See, it's, it's, it's there. I also tried again, and there's actually another one right... Uh, oh, no, no, I'm wrong. Right here. <laughs> right here. Another invisible one. So that's not working. I can't build the plaster to kind of do that kind of building. I wanted to do the farm with that, but alas, it's not going to happen. But, so, what I got to do is we've got all the... I've built up all the stuff. Don't worry. We don't have to go out and do all that. So we've got our plants... That's what we're going to need, and then we're going to need these, and then we're... Look at these hay bales. I was able to build a couple things out of the mod, so we'll kind of throw those down, because those might be cool to kind of test out. But I've also got our reservoirs here, and that's basically all we're going to need to get our farm going. So let's head up here, and don't worry, it's going to look better than this. Once everything's kind of going in... Now, water reservoirs work like this. Now, I've got a... Let's see, can you see the pipes? You can't really see the pipes in the stone, but I've got just one straight pipe going that length. Now, that's that's really what you need. So, all we need to do is we need to add our water reservoirs to, should we do right here? We'll go right um, there, and then like right there. So, there's three. Oh, man, really, that just looks the best, to be honest, with just the three. I'm going to hope that we don't need a fourth. Now, you need definitely more than one. You definitely need a few per crop. So I don't know if these are actually going to... But it rains a lot in the center map, so I don't know. We'll kind of see how this works. I, I think I'll start running water from over there once the build actually extends that area. So this will only be a temporary thing. But I kind of wanted to show you how these water res reservoirs worked. So we kind of have vertical irrigation pipe now. Let's build this, and, oh, I think, is that perfect? Oh, that's going to be good. All right, we'll put that right there. Did that go? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, and we're going to put the rest of our crops down. Now, we'll put our tap onto that little thing right there. And we'll, let's plop these, uh, these suckers down. It's going to be so, oh, man, I did not space that out well at all. Oh, look, what, what am I doing? Um, I'm, I'm getting too far ahead of myself, so let's destroy this. That was like, that was way off. We're going to put it right in the middle. Perfect. And so we've got our crops. And now we're going to throw a couple more over here. I just broke my other one though. Dang it. Uh, we'll put that there. And we'll put this here. Can we build another one? Crap. We're going to have to get all those resources. All right. So I'm going to get the rest of the setup going. Now, I just wanted to show you kind of the basics in the startup. So I'll kind of get the rest of it going, and then we'll see if uh, Sapphire has made us some fertilizer so that we can get our garden blooming and all set and ready. All right. So we are all set. Check this out. So we've got our water reservoir. So the, the three of them... Just the stone ones were totally fine. As you can see, I've still got a little bit of water left over for when they start using their water for growing and all that kind of fun stuff. But as you can see, all of our crops have been watered. Now, the rain, it was just one rain. Oh, man. Can that one not? Oh, that one's not close enough. You must be destroyed. Sorry. Okay, but that one... Okay, these ones are all in range. Perfect. So I've got all the seeds going in here. So we've got our seeds. So now all we need is our fertilizer. Now, where did Sapphire make her way off to? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, let's jump off. Let's see if she's made any fertilizer. Come on. Have you done it? Oh, she has. Perfect. Okay, so we've got some fertilizer. And we've got our byproduct of oil as well. So that's a great... She's just going to slowly build us up oil so that when we get our generator and all that kind of stuff, we'll be able to make some gas pretty easily and simply without having to go into the ocean and all that kind of stuff. So let's make our way up here. Let's get our fertilizer going in here. So now we've got our water reservoirs. We've got our fertilizer. And now we should be able to start these crops going. I've got all the, you know, important ones, Rockerit, Citronelle, Savorroot, and what's the other one I'm forgetting? 
crap, there's another one. Long grass, long grass. So, okay, so our... We've got our uh, plants going now. Fertilizer is just the way to go. We've got 100,000 fertilizer, so we're all set on these for a good amount of time, and she's going to produce us some more fertilizer as we go, so I just hate using those those bins now that the uh, dung beetles have been released. Now, I built up one more grappling hook because when I was out and about, I saw these guys walking around, and I really want one on this server. It's going to be really awesome. So... As I, I was as I was kind of journeying around trying to collect all the seeds by hand, which was kind of annoying. We really need a trike or something like that. But I saw some Lystros Lystrosaurus? Yeah, Lystrosaurus kind of listlessly walking around. <laughs> but anyway, where is that guy? I know there was one over here. Where's he at? And I noticed that usually you have to or you actually would normally want a few oh there he is. You'd want to feed these rare flowers, but I actually realized that they will actually eat normal berries. So I'm going to see if we can grab this. Can we, can we pull it? Oh, we can. Yes. Now, if you can't pick up things with your pterodon, this one you might actually be able to... We'll, we'll test it out. We'll see if we can pick this up with a pterodon, but I doubt it. Most things you cannot, like the dung beetle, you can't. But if you can't do that, you can just pick them up with a grappling hook and kind of take them on a little journey back to your base. So... You're going to become like our newest, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And these give the uh, bonus XP aura, so it's actually really useful to have these. Now, I thought that originally only the, let's see here, only the rare flowers were uh, available to be used on these guys, but they were eating these, and I want to see if maybe the berry choice kind of, kind of makes a difference. I don't know if it only eats tinto berries. I, I noticed that they would eat stim berries as well, and that didn't do that much. Where did he go? Where'd he go? He couldn't have gone that far. They're not that quick. Where's this guy? Where? What? What? Where? Oh, there he is. <laughs> How did I not see this? Okay, so let's put this in here. So we've got our tinto berries. Now that's going to do that much. See, it does that much. It's not too bad. I mean... The taming effect probably isn't going to be as good as with the rare flowers, and those definitely tame them up a lot quicker, but this is going to be a really cool, nice early game one that you can actually just feed with berries, I guess, so that's really sweet. Now, the first eat for these passive tames takes longer uh, than all the others, so we need to wait a little bit longer so that we can get this guy going. Now, our plant should be growing just fine, and that's, you can kind of see it from down here. I think it's a pretty cool spot, and we definitely need to get into the greenhouse glass and upgrade our farm as we go, but getting the basics is, is pretty important anyway. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, let's see if he can eat again. Oh, he can. Um, Let's see. Oh, now I'm just whistling like crazy. Let's see if Mayo or Majo berries do any better. I did the same. I did the same. So it, it probably doesn't matter which berry you feed these guys, but this is going to be a really cool one to have. So in the next video, we'll have our farm going. We'll have this little girl, little girl, Lystrosaurus all tamed up, which is really exciting. Now we got into farming, and that's pretty important. And that's where I'm going to stop for today. We'll definitely go check out another part of the island. I know we got, a, we got a little glimpse of the cave and all that kind of stuff. But we'll get into more of that every episode as we kind of go along. So if you liked the video, definitely hit that thumbs up. Help me out here on the channel. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. And, of course, we'll catch you next time.